welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tiffany Hurd and on today's video we are going to be talking about travel hacking. Um, who doesn't want to learn about ways to travel? People always ask me how do you travel so much? Um, where do you get money from? All different types of things. So let me let you in on a little secret. Um, the secret that we are going to be talking about is credit cards. And you're like, what? A credit card? Like, how is a credit card supposed to help me travel? Well, credit cards are actually one of the best ways to travel because they offer the opportunity for you to obtain points, okay? Now, I will use this disclaimer. If you know you are horrible at using credit cards, just cut off this video, okay? Um, but if you know that you can maintain your credit card payments and you know that you have the money, so... For example, if you're going to spend $500, make sure you have $500 so that you can pay it off. Please do not get this credit card and misuse it because you'll be in trouble, okay? So let's get into the video. This is the card that I want to show you. Um, you probably can't see it that well. Um, but this is what we call the travel, I'm sorry, it's not called travel. It's called the Chase Sapphire Reserve, okay? So we're going to go into a little bit about everything that it offers, and then I'll go into a little bit of how I use my credit card. Um, so when I first got it, it was a couple years ago, um, but one of the criteria was that you had to spend at least four thousand dollars within three months okay and then you said oh my god how am i gonna spend four thousand it was actually very easy because what i did was i paid my rent i could pay my rent online and so that allowed me to get to my four thousand um the four thousand dollar price within three months because of paying the rent um, maybe try to pay your car insurance or even ask a friend like, hey, if you're making a big purchase, can I put it on my credit card? And then that will allow you to get to your $4,000 um, very quickly, okay? Um, and as a result of spending $4,000 within three months, I got 100,000 points. Um, and so this was a big deal because at the time... Um, it was, they were introducing the car, so they were offering more points. So I read up on some things and I hear that they're only offering 60,000 points, but I still think it's an absolutely good deal. Like who doesn't want to get 60,000 points worth of travel, um, stuff. Okay. Um, I will say that there is an annual fee, which sucks, eh. But, you know, they got to get, I guess they got to get theirs while, while we getting ours. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, the annual fee is $550 yearly. But after I tell you about all the perks, it may just be worth it. So, you're going to have to decide if it's worth it for you or not. Um, so, that's the annual fee. So, let's go into some of the other stuff or the benefits that it has. Okay, so one of the thing is the baggage delay insurance. That is super important. Have you ever been to the airport and you get to your destination and your baggage is delayed. This has happened to me at least two or three times. Um, and this particular time when I had the card, it happened when I was coming from Morocco and going back to Spain. There was like uh, um, Air France or it was somebody, they were, they were into it or it was a strike going on. So we were delayed, got back to Spain. The flights were nowhere in vision, okay? <laughs> so I'm like already frustrated, but didn't have my bags. I don't even think I had any extra clothes. Maybe I might have had um, some some leggings or something. So I always say this side note, keep, keep something like leggings, a t-shirt, a toothbrush, and underwear in your carry-on because you never know what's going to happen to your luggage. So basically, I didn't get the luggage, I think, till like the next day in Spain. Um, but because I had this baggage delay insurance with the car, I was able to claim all this stuff once I got back home. So that is definitely a great benefit. Um, another benefit is something called global entry. Um, I'll post the picture up above because I left my car in a car. <laughs> anyway, so global entry is something that, like, let's say I'm coming back from Morocco and I just had this long flight and I just want to get out of the airport and go home. So there are long lines for customs. So what global entry does, it allows you to go into a quicker line 
thus leaving the airport very quickly. So it's very, very convenient. Um, and it's included in the card automatically, but you do have to sign up for it. Um, the global entry, sometimes there is a wait for the appointment, but trust and believe, just keep looking at places. Sometimes you could just walk straight in for the appointment. Um, and then the appointment is like really, really quickly. They'll just kind of ask you, hey, where have you been out of the country? But it's like super, super easy. Um, so global entry is great. And it's a, it's $100, but that's you don't pay for the $100. It is included in the car. So don't think it's like an extra charge or anything. Um, the next thing is pre-check. Have you guys ever had pre-check? Pre-check is super awesome. Pre-check is basically when you go to the airport, you know, there's another long line for security. So pre-check is usually a shorter line that you get a chance to go into. And I like it because you don't have to take off your shoes. You don't have to take off your coat. Um, I sometimes get patted down with my hair, like there's something hiding in here. Um, but with pre-check, they usually don't bother you. I can't say that it hasn't happened, but for the most part, don't. You just kind of breeze through the line long as there's nobody else um, in that pre-check line. So that is definitely a benefit. Um, the next thing is priority pass. So before having this card, I did not go to lounges, okay? First of all, I never get to the airport in time because I hate just sitting around, so I'm probably rushing to the plane anyway. But in the instance that I have a layover or something like that, I can use priority pass. So you literally get a card in the mail with your priority pass and your number, and they also have an app. And so when you get to the airport, you can look up lounges. And the great part about the lounges is this also includes restaurants. So I remember when I was in Puerto Rico and I was waiting to, I guess, get to my other flight. And I was in there when they started bringing out breakfast. They had sausage and French toast and fruit and juice. And then I was also there when they started bringing out lunch. So guess who ate breakfast and lunch while I was in the lounge? Um, there's other instances where um, I've been in a lounge and they had like, you know, alcoholic beverages, regular drinks and snacks. So you'll have that. Um, had another uh, uh, airport where there was like, it was like a pullout couch type of thing. Um, and that was their lounge. And then also at some of these restaurants that you go into, you get $28 worth of credit. And I actually think it's for two people. So if you're flying with somebody else, you can treat them out to lunch. You'd be like, hey, it's on me. They don't even know that it's already free within your car. But they don't need to know all of that. Um, another, um, thing is the travel credit. So basically, remember how I told you that there was a fee of 550 annually? Well, technically I would say it's 250 because you do get a $300 travel credit every year. And so that travel credit card can be used towards anything that you want. Um, I use it on a carnival cruise out of Long Beach one year. You can use it for a flight. You can use it for a hotel. That $300 credit goes back to you and is related to travel. Um, so that's where the fee kind of like balances itself out, okay? Um, another benefit is trip delay. So on that same flight that I told you about from Morocco to Spain is where I got delayed. And so if you're delayed over six hours, which I was, or any of your family members, you can be reimbursed up to $500 per ticket for meals and lodging. It doesn't happen up front, but if you pay for anything up front, save your receipts, save your airline information, and then you can submit all of those things when you come back. And I was able to get that as well. Um, some other things is when you dine out and when you travel, so every time you swipe that car for dining or travel, you get three extra points. So let's say, let me try to calculate this stuff. Let's say if you spend $5 for something, five times three is $15. So you'll get 15 points because you swipe for $5 for some type of food. Okay. Um, so there are the other benefits include, um, and these are things that I did not have to use, which is a good thing, but there are benefits that come with the card. Um, so special car rental privileges, um, there's events and experiences, so check your email. Um, there's one to one point transfer. So basically if you want to go, let's say on Southwest. So when you are trying to book a ticket, you can go onto the travel, uh, chase portal, but let's say the airline that you want to use is not on there. Then you can transfer your points to that particular airline and you get an even exchange of points. Okay. Um, there's the elite hotel benefits. There's auto rental collision waiver damage. So if anything happens in our rental car, 
Um, you get roadside assistance, which is always great. Um, travel and emergency assistance, which I talked about some of that. Emergency evacuating transportation. If anything go down, you should be able to use your insurance for this. And emergency medical and dental benefits. So I would not say don't get like something like Alliance. Still get that, but know that you have this additional added insurance with the Chase with the Chase Sapphire. Okay. Um, so those are all the benefits, which I think is absolutely worth. I think the card is worth it. Like to me, it's one of the best travel cards out there. Even if you like go to somebody like the points guy, he will tell you the same thing. Like it's a great card and well, all the benefits that I just named, it's wonderful. And usually I don't have like the luggage loss or the trip delay. So a lot of times I didn't have to use this, but when it came in handy, it came in handy. So let me talk to you just a little bit about how I use my points so you can kind of see where it went to um so the first time the first time I used my points remember I told you remember we we're working with a hundred thousand a hundred thousand points so I took my first real solo international trip to Colombia and that was 47,404 points so I know it sounds like a lot but um I think it was around Thanksgiving time which have made it a, a bit more expensive and maybe I wanted a certain ticket um but that was almost like half of the points that um that I used around that time and it was a holiday time so be strategic about how you're going to use your points um i did another trip just domestically on new year's eve i bought a ticket to dallas texas to visit a friend so that's two trips already um my third trip that i used was i went to howard university woo -woo, um, but i hadn't went back in years so i decided hey let's go back to dc for a couple weeks so i actually used i bought a round trip ticket for that um, and I think I end up having to use a little bit more points because I end up extending my trip, which means I really had to buy a whole nother ticket for that. So that's three trips already. Um, and then the last trip that I used it for, um, the points I went to teach English in Spain. Um, so, and that was 29,824 points. So it was a steal. It was my first time in Europe and I had a really great time. So as you can see from that 100,000 points, I got four trips out of that, two international and I think two domestic trips. Um, and if you like to fly in luxury, you can do a whole first class ticket. I'm a little cheap. Well, I'm not going to say cheap. I'm going to say I'm budget friendly. So I said, hey, I can get one trip or I can get multiple trips. So eh, I weighed the cost and I went for multiple trips. So those are the benefits. Please sign up for this card. Like I said, if you know how to use the card correctly, um, if not, leave it alone. But if you can't, the, the benefits are just great. Like there's nothing else that I can say about this card. Um, I just think it's really good and it introduced me to travel hacking or points and credit card because there's no sense of paying for something and not getting anything in return when you can pay for different things on your card and get almost points back, cash back, all those different things, okay? Um, so I think it's great. Oh, the other thing is with this card, you can actually get money back. So instead of the $100,000, I could have got cash back, but it's actually better to use it for travel related points for different things because you get, I want to say it's 50% more than what you would if you were cashing out. So of course I didn't get $100,000 if I had 100,000 points, but I would have gotten cash. But I was like, nah, I'd rather go for the travel and get it paid for in that way, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about the travel hacks. There are so many other credit cards out there. I didn't review them because this has been the only credit card that I um, that I have had for travel. But do your research. I've given you an aspect on this one. Check out other ones. And I hope you use this trick to travel. Travel hacks, credit card, get you one, swipe, do, 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 do. Oh, I'm sorry, one last thing. Transaction fees. There are no transaction fees if you're buying stuff with this. Now, if you're using a debit or a credit card, then there are going to be transaction fees and those do add up. So, sorry about that tidbit. All right. Hope you watch to the end to, to see that. All right. Bye-bye. Peace.